Well, tonight we are counting down to the start of the 88th legislature. Tomorrow, Texas lawmakers will meet in Austin to take on everything from property taxes to social issues. And that's where we find our senior political reporter, Jason Whiteley. Right now, Texas lawmakers are preparing to meet here in Austin, and they will have an unprecedented amount of money to spend when they gavel back into session tomorrow. It had been estimated they'd have $26 billion extra to spend on anything, but the comptroller came out this afternoon and said that new figure, the new surplus, would be $32 billion, a $32 billion surplus here in the state of Texas. There'll be a lot of ideas on exactly what that money should be spent on, but Republicans and Democrats are in agreement about something, that property taxes have to come down. They're the seventh highest in the country, and both parties say a significant amount of that surplus should reduce what we all pay in property taxes. People should not be scared of being taxed out of their homes. We're hearing loud and clear from people all across the state, both sides of the political aisle, um, suburban, urban, and rural. People are, are struggling to uh, not only afford the cost of living, of course, inflation, the cost of everyday goods, but um, the year-to-year -year growth in their property taxes. So uh, we've got to make sure that we, we slow the rate of growth and actually cut property taxes, which we can and, and I believe will do this session. So why does Texas have a surplus? couple of reasons. Number one, the resilient economy here over the last two years since 2021. And secondly, an increase in the price of oil. All that means more tax revenue generated here in the state. The Texas legislature, it meets every two years. They will gavel back into session here at the state capitol in Austin on Tuesday at noon, and we will be here for it. In Austin, I'm Jason Whiteley.